Okay, so we're going to take a look at making a grate. There's different ways, but just a process to make it easy. Uh, we'll just start with a plane. You can use a bull object. Oops. You can use a bull object to cut into your shape if you want later. But we just have a plane. Let's come in. It's 4x4. Four four. I'm going to go into my default viewport to see my edged faces, and now I'm going to give myself more of these. So we want something that's going to look like the grate that we want. Um, depending on what you're doing, how you want to set it up, so we could make thicker ones, thinner ones, all that. So again, depending on what we're, we're looking at. I'll do the 4 by... let's do 10. I'm just going to put an edit poly on top of this. You could just have one plane, no sections, and then add your edit poly above. I'm going to select my faces. We're going to go into our um, insert, select by polygon, and then we're going to increase this till we get a little bit of a grill shape. Once we're okay with that, we're going to accept it. And like I said, if we want to make some thicker, some thinner, we can play around with it. Um, I'll deselect a few and I'll just make like every third line thicker. Let's see, one, two, yeah, every third line. So I'm going to go into edge mode and we're just going to select these edges. And I'm going to select all the ones I want on that side. So one, one, two, one, two, and we'll just keep with this. And I can do the bottom one, but that's the outer edge, so we're going to ignore it. And I'm just going to make these a little bit wider by pulling that up. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Make sure we have the correct ones. And again, if you have a template, you can lay it against the template. But these we're just going to make double thick. I'm going to go back to our um, polygon, and we have all those polygons selected. And before we do an extrude, I want this to be beveled. So I'm going to pull these back, and it gives me that nice little bevel on the top. I'm then going to do just a regular extrude. So you could do a bevel extrude, but I'm going to go negative and get a little bit of an edge. And what I want is I want these to be angled. So I'm going to pull that all in one direction. And once I have that extrude, you can pull it down the way you want. And we will call that it. I'm just making it a little deeper, pulling it a little further. And we have a nice little grill. So again, if we have a certain shape, you start with the shape and divide it. So we'll take a look at that real quick. All I have to do is delete the back faces, and we have the uh, back face to this. And there it is. That's just a... Okay, so now I'm going to just use a shape and try and build a grill. So again, once you have your design, you may have a, a shape. And I'm just going to use an eclipse here and drag it out. You can use your line tool and build a shape. It's just a little easier. And I'm just going to go into this shape um, modifier stack. Right now, it's not editable. We can we can play around with it and right click, make it an editable spline. Um, I can grab the vertex, right click, and do things like make it smooth or bezier corner, adjust your tangents. I'm just going to drag this up so it's a little flat on the bottom. I'm going to grab these two, and you know, you can make whatever shape you want, break your tangents, um, hold down shift, and you can break your tangents, I'm going to do that. So this is a, a fine shape to start with. Uh, I can use it as a boolean to cut into another shape, so that's what we'll take a look at. We'll just do a quick frame of this, and then use a boolean on a regular grid. So here we go. I'm going to hold down shift and duplicate this. And just have a second eclipse. We're going to use this one. I'm going to 
it's right now an edible spline. We're going to right click and make it an edible poly. And that just fills in the shape. And then I'm going to go to grab my polygon. And we're going to do that inset. So there it goes. Oh no, it wasn't selecting. There we are. So I'm actually going to do two small sections here because I want to have a little bit of a, a bend with this. 122 works. And then we'll do it again. Inset will still be the 122. We'll say OK. And then we're going to do an extrude. We want to extrude negative. So I only need a little bit. And we'll accept that. And then I want to extrude this outer edge. So I can grab the outer edge, double click. And now I'm going to hold down Shift and pull that edge out. And again, I'm just going to use this outer frame. So I'm going to select this inside and just delete. So we have this outer frame. Now, the second one I can use as a bool operation um, to cut my form. So let's go and grab that, move that back. And like I said, we'll use this one as a um, bool. So we'll just make it an edible poly. I have the outer edge selected. I can extrude. Extrude down and I can cap that top. And then it's just a shape I can use as a, as a bool operation. So we'll just make a second one of them there. Just to have backup. Now I'm just going to make a grid, make it um, big enough. So we will come back, go to objects. We're going to make a plane. I just want it big enough. So I'm just going to size it up to this one. I'm going to say 50 gives me a nice little box. Then we're just going to move this back so it's on its own. Change the color so we can view it. Or edit poly or convert it to an edible poly. And now make sure we get our faces selected. We're going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to zoom in a bit. Make sure it's by polygon. I don't want it too big. Accept it. We're going to go to an angle. And then we will do an extrude. A little bit negative number. Uh, that one's OK. We could go a little deeper, but I'll just accept. Make sure they're all selected. Hit delete so we get the open form. Again, I just want to back up. So I'm going to select one, hold down shift, pull it out of the way. And with this first one, let's just change the color so it's a little clearer. What we have. So we're going to grab this shape, we're going to line it up over the grate. And I do not really enjoy the bool operation in this software. We want to make sure it intersects. And I often pick these wrong, so let me just pull it over. So let's pick my shape, compound object, bool, pick our second operand, and we want intersect. And now we have that great. Okay, let's just go and uh, make an edible poly before I go clicking on anything else. There. Now we can line these up and we have that great in the shape that we want. Select the one, click attach, attach the other. 
deselect attach, and now they're going to move in unison. So that's it. That's how you do a grate um, and a shape.